Finny PCs are all the rage with emulation right now. And one question that I've been getting over and over again is RGT, what's the mini PC you're using and how does it perform with consoles? Now, as you guys are probably well aware, I recently sold off a good chunk of my collection because I just got into emulation. I just wanted to play the games. It wasn't necessarily about collecting them. When I sold off some of that stuff though, I actually ended up with a bunch more room down here in the basement and I essentially built an emulation station. I bought a cheap pleather chair off of Amazon from China. I had this table that was never getting used. I bought a cheap television to mount onto the wall and I made this sort of work area and emulation area where I could just enjoy a variety of games. But like I said, the question has always been, what mini PC am I using? And today, we're finally going to take a look at it. Not only is this bad boy small, not only is this bad boy compact, not only can this bad boy handle a lot of stuff, but it's super cheap, under $350. So what is this thing? How well does it perform with the games? And is this something you should buy? That's what we're about to find out. If first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Hit the bell as well. And let me show you guys this mini PC that plays everything. So this is the B-Link SER5 Mini PC. Now this edition has the AMD Ryzen 7 5800H processor and it has eight cores and 16 threads. It has an AMD Radon graphics card in it as well. It has 500 gigabytes of internal storage that can be expanded up to two terabytes, DDR4 at 3200 megahertz. And the best part is it's commonly on sale on Amazon for under $350, link in the description box. You could see it's a tiny boy. It weighs a little more than two pounds. Like it's it's pretty damn small, but it packs a very good punch. We have two USB 3.0 ports on the front of the system, a headphone jack and our power button as well. Flipping it over to the back of the system, you can see we have some cooling options going on here with some fans, two HDMI ports, more USB ports as well, a LAN port, and our plug-in for our power adapter. It's tiny looking at it next to this controller, but how does it perform? How does it play the video games? Because that's all that matters. Let's find out. And of course, the biggest question everyone's been asking me, does it play NES? Yeah, of course it does. I hate emulation videos that start out showing you NES and like Genesis stuff. Everything plays those. Let's get to the good stuff. I respect your time. We're going to start off with the PlayStation 2. Here is Auto Matalista for the PlayStation 2. A very interesting cell shaded graphical style racing game that came from Capcom, which at the time of the release of the game, nobody really appreciated it, but in retrospect, a lot of people do enjoy this. We are running at three times the original resolution of this game, and you can see it's performing very well. I will say the controls in this game are extremely slippery, though. This was a multi-platform release. Also came out on the GameCube and on the Xbox, but I, I definitely could not get a feel for the car, but obviously you can see this is handling this at three times the original resolution with absolutely no problem. So definitely a good sign to start things off when it comes to PlayStation 2. We're also gonna take a look at Tekken 5. I don't think I've ever played this version of, of Tekken before, Tekken 5 being the version, of course, in question here. Um, I kind of didn't really play many fighters on the PS2 when I eventually got one, so this is a game that missed out on me. Pretty fun game, though. You know, I've always enjoyed the Tekken series, and once again, we're running at three times the original resolution on the PlayStation 2. I probably could have cranked it up a bit more, but I didn't, I didn't know, you know, how everything was going to be, but I mean, 3X on a, you know, flat screen television, it looks definitely good enough i like this this little map we're playing on with penguins and they're just having a great time in the background but yeah your ps2 stuff i would say most of it is going to run absolutely fantastic and flawless and you can upscale it with this mini pc next up we have nintendo gamecube running at four times the original resolution and I mean, just look at this. Look, this is obviously Soul Calibur 2 for the Nintendo GameCube, the GameCube edition with Link, and this just looks stupid good. Like, I, I was blown away at how good this looked at four times the original upscaling, and I'm impressed at how this mini PC is handling it. Like, when I say this thing can handle a lot of things, you'll see as we go throughout the video, like, it's handling a lot of top-tier systems with upgraded resolutions with absolutely no problems. I love the GameCube. I think it's a phenomenal system. Soul Calibur 2 on the GameCube is, in my opinion, the best version of the game because they got the best 
fighting character the secret character of course being link exclusive to the gamecube version so definitely you know a great looking game and a super fun game to still play today little tony hawk 4 little chad muska the muska laid here and once again we're running at four times the original resolution internal resolution upscaled and it's doing great you'll see like a little line from time to time on the screen a little minor graphical glitch but i just wanted to show you another gamecube game really quick that i grew up playing a hell of a lot so yeah get down with it muska and we're also going to take a look at NFL Blitz 2003. What's cool about this game and a lot of these sports games from this era, the over-the-top ones, are the graphics still hold up, like, really well. This, of course, is at four times the original resolution, like all the other games have been thus far. And, like, this game, I think, definitely shines with it. It just looks really, really clean, really crisp. You know, the animations are still good. I don't know how to play half of these games. Of course, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, so it makes it even more difficult but the mini pc is handling the gamecube like a champ much like the playstation 2 i don't envision any major problems with the, uh, the library if you're going for gamecube and the four times resolution is just the icing on the cake with this How about some original Xbox? Now, this is running at one times the original resolution, so it's upscaling to a 1080p screen. We're playing Scarface here, one of my favorite open world games of all time. One of my favorite games on the Xbox. I actually played this game to death on the Xbox. I 100% completed it way back in the day. Great soundtrack, great visuals, and the mini PC, it's handling the Xbox with really no problems. The next game we're going to take a look at is yet another Xbox game that originally the first mini PC I had, it couldn't handle it. It wouldn't be able to play this game, and it's Showdown Legends of Wrestling. You know I love this game, so I wanted to be able to play this game, and it's playing absolutely flawlessly, minus some little graphical glitches you can see that the shadows and stuff are kind of a bit weird i might could mess around with some settings and adjust that but original xbox runs pretty damn well on this system obviously you're going to have some hits and misses when it comes to this and pretty much every system beyond this but all the xbox games i wanted to check out that i threw at it it seemed to run good enough to where i could have a competent experience and enjoy the game this is running at full speed there's no audio glitches or anything like that just the little weird lighting glitch but i love this game you know hogan versus warrior this is wrestlemania 6 at the sky dome in toronto just you know super cool super cool game it's a shame that it was rushed out but yeah you're gonna have good performance with this mini pc when it comes to xbox next up we have some xbox 360 with the xenia emulator and i'll be honest with you guys this was the most troublesome emulator that i tried running on this system um i recorded footage for other games like afterburner climax and dead or alive 5 which ran perfectly fine and it was really a good solid experience but for whatever reason that gameplay footage was corrupted when i went to put it in this video so i was just left with this gears of war footage now gears of war is a game that obviously you're going to different areas so it's constantly recompiling shaders for this so you're going to notice hiccups here and there xbox 360 stuff on this mini pc it's definitely not like a flawless experience but i do feel like it's manageable i just wish xenia had an interface for their emulator like there is no interface to easily change things on the fly and you know try different sort of configurations because you're going to have to do that with a lot of emulators so if you're buying this strictly for xbox 360 you might be a little bit disappointed it did crash on me a lot too just randomly i don't know maybe it was just me maybe it was just what i was doing but xenia runs okay xbox 360 is playable on the system but it's definitely not the best but surprisingly PlayStation 3 was a hell of a lot better. We're taking a look at Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe here, and you will have some shaders compiling with this game. And in this game, it's basically just for like special attacks. Once you do a special attack one time, the next time you play through the game, you'll have a super smooth experience without it having to do it. Every time I play this game, I actually really like it. I never played this game back in the day, and I always have fun with it. I'm a big fan of like old school Mortal Kombat stuff, so the character roster on the Mortal Kombat side of things is cool, and having like Batman and Cat woman and joker on the other side superman like it's just a very strange game to me but it's a game that i really enjoy playing and trying to figure out what the hell i'm doing because you could tell I, i'm not good at this game i don't even know the buttons i'm using an xbox 360 controller for all of these games because i didn't feel like digging out the usb versions of the controllers that i had but you could see here this mini pc is cheap 
and it's running PlayStation 3 at a pretty impressive clip, people. Like, this is very good performance out of this mini PC, and this game looks great. I've actually upscaled it to 1080p. This is an originally a 720p game, I believe. So even with a little bit of upscaling, the game is running fine. But the next game we're going to take a look at is yet another PlayStation 3 game that gave me absolutely no problems, and that is Ridge Racer 7. I'm a big fan of Ridge Racer games. I love arcade-style racing games. It's a shame that they've sort of gone away, but Ridge Racer 7 is just a very smooth experience. They tried to like get weird with this game and make it overly complex with like the menu system, but like the racing is still super fun and you can see it is running at a full speed, full clip. Everything is going the way it should be, looking great, sounding great, playing great. So PlayStation 3 emulation on this system much like the Xbox 360 and all the other systems we're going to talk about. There's going to be some hits. There's going to be some misses. As emulation continues to grow, things will get better. But I had a very solid experience with the PlayStation 3 on this system, on this mini PC. And I think a lot of you guys will as well. So, you know, don't be worried. Is that PlayStation 3 emulation crappy? No, it's actually really good. It's come a long way. And this mini PC handles it pretty damn well. Let's take a look at some Wii U with Pokken Tournament. Is this actually playing on a Wii U instead of this mini PC? For legal reasons, it sure as hell is. But yeah, so we're getting a look here. Obviously, not being able to have a gamepad is indeed kind of weird. I don't remember how to play this game, but you can see the game is running exactly how Pokken Tournament should run. That was always weird to me how Bill Trinan would always say, Pokken Tournament when he was discussing this game. But this is the Wii U. Once again, your mileage is going to vary on Wii U stuff. Stuff like Twilight Princess HD, you can get 60, you can get a, a really solid experience out of it. Wind Waker HD, you get a super solid experience out of it. Games that rely heavily on the gamepad, it can be a little bit tougher. You know, you don't have a gamepad at your disposal. I don't know if there's a way to emulate one or anything. I haven't really gotten too much into Wii U stuff. But I just wanted to show you that Wii U is possible very playable and a very smooth experience on this mini pc but what about that other nintendo system and you know the first game we're gonna take a look at here it's a little bit of a cop out you know it's obviously not the most graphically intensive game but damn it if it's not one of the best games in recent memory with teenage mutant ninja turtles shredder's revenge on the nintendo switch yes sir this is running via the ryu jinx emulator which i have a video on how to get that set up of course only use it for non-piracy related things. I'm not responsible for what you do with emulators and where you stick them and what. No, don't, don't come to me. Don't come to me crying if Nintendo knocks on your door and they take away your son or you away in cuffs. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. But you can see here, obviously, there is no problem running Nintendo Switch via this game on the mini PC. I will just, though, I will say, you know, we're going to take a look at a 3D game as well to sort of give you guys a different perspective. I've tried a bunch of different games on this mini PC, and most of the time with the Switch, it was actually very good. I mean, there are some beefier games that aren't gonna run, much like PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. It's sort of a lot of trial and error, trying out different settings as well. But here's Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2. This is a fully 3D kart racing game that I had never really spent any time with before. And this is running at a full 60 frames per second, like flawlessly, no graphical glitches, no sort of anything. So we're handling Nintendo Switch stuff on a sub $400 mini PC. Like this is insanity. This mini PC is insane. The amount of performance that you get out of it, we didn't even look at like Dreamcast and all the other generations of systems before because there's no reason to. It's running all these top end systems that you used to have to have like a $2,000 rig in order to run. It's running them with, with minimal problems, if any problems. Obviously, some things are going to run better than others, but this is insane. The amount of bang you get for your buck with this mini PC is absolutely insane. I've shown you PlayStation 3. I've shown you Xbox 360. I've shown you Switch and Wii U. Let's go ahead and wrap up this video, though, and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So what do I think about this mini PC, the B-Link SER5? It's a monster. It, for the amount of money you spend on this, the bang for your buck is absolutely incredible. I am still blown away 
at the performance that this gives me at the price point that I paid for it. Yes, it retails for a little over 400, but it's commonly on sale on Amazon for $330. For less than $350, you can get this, which will play anything you pretty much throw at it. And it's been absolutely an awesome experience. I'll have an Amazon link in the description box down below. Should you guys want to pick up one of these? Yes, it is an affiliate link because I mean, I bought one. I might as well make some money if you guys want to buy one too, right? If you're going to buy it either way, who cares? But yeah, this thing is freaking awesome. The amount of bang for your buck is just... I don't think there's anything that that matches it i don't think there's a single thing out there that matches it so let me know in the comment section down below if you're interested in one of these and if you are like i said check out the amazon link it's an affiliate link but whatever this thing freaking rules and as always guys thank you for checking out this video like i said at the start if you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button like comment and share hit the bell as well and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later